So on our sample page, you can see I've got two different size images. We've got this large one here that fills this column and a thumbnail over here. Now, let's say I want to change this thumbnail to fill the width of that column. So once we're editing the page, and you can see I've got an a single image element. So if I click on edit for that, so click on the pencil, and you can see here it says thumbnail in the image size. And now what I'm going to do is change this to large. Just lowercase l-a-r-g-e and press save. And I'll preview that change. And you'll see that now that image is filling that column. And if I make that column wider, so what I might do, I'm going to drop this down to just two columns. So now we've got two columns, the pictures in either one, and preview that again. And the picture's still filling the column. Now the trick with this is that the large size is 1024 pixels wide. And our pictures are, what are wider than that, so they will fill this space. If I was to change that picture to medium, then it would not be wide enough to fill the column. And because medium in default WordPress settings is 300 pixels wide, which will usually work okay for maybe a third or a quarter column width. Now, it's a little bit of a trick in the browser, you see, because we're, we're actually using a slightly oversized image. So you can see here that we're using the image, which is 1024 pixels wide, but actually the width of the column is 585 pixels. So the browser is sizing it down. Now because the picture has been compressed and it's not too big, it still works okay. So just a good shorthand, if you don't know the width of your column, so if you're not sure what the actual pixel width is of your column, if it's fairly wide, use the large setting. And if you're down to maybe a quarter or a third, or you want a smaller image, use medium for the size. If you were going to set a pixel size, then you need to know what dimensions you want to set. So for example, if I set 500, which means 500 pixels, X, so by 200, that's going to give me a 500 by 200 pixel image. Now, if you haven't really thought much about pixels and how that looks on a screen before, that probably makes no sense at all. But keep in mind that this width here is about, or should be exactly, 500 pixels. And you can see we've got a bit more room on the sides because our column is wider than that. And so the thumbnail size is usually 150 by 150, and that's another default WordPress setting. So those sizes, thumbnail, medium, large, or full, will give you a quick way of getting to a sort of standard size. But if you know the size in pixels, then you can use that for the, the size of the image precisely. And that will give you a cropped image, just the size you want.